my scratch all here, but I want to get into the tongue. And so to get into the tongue, you just simply uh, get your finger in, reverse the toe, so the tongue will pop out. And then you can see on here that these marks represent where his bump is. So what I'm gonna do is take a pen to mark and create the actual relief for this area so I can open it up. So I draw it out and now at this point, I'm gonna come in with a sharp razor knife and I'm going to um, just pop this piece out. So this piece here is gonna end up being somewhere between two and three millimeters thick. You'll see when I get it out of here. And I'm just kinda of taking my razor knife, working my way through. I don't know if this lighting's good enough to really see what's going on. Uh, but I've got my razor knife. I'm gonna cut just short of the uh, threads that are holding this all together because I don't want to open the tongue up and then I'm going to trace back through it and uh, try and get the tongue to open up and I'll just lightly peel on it until I can uh, get this to peel away so I open it up you could also accomplish this with a burr ball on your okay so I've just popped it loose and see now I'm into And I just kind of put a little pressure on this guy to work it through without cutting through the threads. Okay. Okay, so take a shot of that. Um, there's a little extra here that I could also take out. This little piece, I can score it and peel it out and still just leave the foam behind. Okay, this is another fractional piece, if you will. But what I'm gonna do here when I'm all said and done, I'm gonna show you on these two pieces when I combine them together, just how much room I created uh, on the tongue here over the top of the end step, which in many cases is what's making your toes fall asleep. Okay, so uh, if you can see these two pieces, I'm just gonna put these together and grab a micrometer. So if I just take the micrometer of these two pieces and measure them out, that is three millimeters of space I've just relieved over the top. And what's most important about it is not so much that it's been relieved, but that it makes a pocket for the top of your surfer's knot or instep bump to fit up into, and it's redistributing the pressure. To finish this off so it looks good, you would normally take uh, some form of cover. This is a a product that kind of has a look like Kevlar. It's not, but it looks like it. And you can just take a piece of this, cut it the shape of your repair. And this is sticky back, so it's gonna seal everything up so this tongue doesn't continue to peel or fall apart. If you do end up cutting any threads, you would use some crazy glue to lock down the threads so they don't further dissipate. So I'm gonna seal this up so that it won't further degrade and it doesn't look like you've hacked up the customer's boot. So at this point, back together, footbed would go back inside. Now, one other thing I wanna show you before we leave is that you can actually get another half a millimeter of material by coming into this little vinyl cover. And once again, I'm avoiding the threads, so I'm not gonna cut through, but I'm gonna kind of go into this area where my little dots are from my scratch all, those are my marks. And I'm gonna come in, I'm going to 
uh, remove this little piece of material, which is over the spot that I already removed on the tongue. And once again, I'm gonna stay away from the laces. Okay, so I've got rid of this. So there's one piece and this piece, again, it's not super thick, but it's about a half mil. And then on top of that, if you look, there is this vinyl or this um, material that is right on top of that same spot that is made out of just this elastic fabric. And I'm going to trim away this elastic fabric. And once again, as I'm adding things up in terms of the amount of relief I can get, here's two more pieces of material that I'll mic. And sure enough, this is a little over a millimeter, millimeter and a half for these two materials. So now combining this with what I did on the tongue um, should be enough to give release from that pressure point that's cutting off circulation of blood to the toes and or pinching the nerves. If you had to, you could come into here and take this up even further with a small grinder and grind away on this little piece of foam until this is completely smooth and you'll gain another couple of millimeters. So that's the key to doing relief here. It's not about lowering this inside the boot. It's about getting specific with the spot that's cutting off the blood flow and the nerves and not allowing the toes to breathe. Um, I've got some pictures that I'm gonna post along with this uh, concerning the boot board and how we get it to uh, be smooth and flat and not humped in the middle, which is putting further pressure upward on the instep.